Welcome back to another episode with Just Fanning It. We pick up where we left off last week, leaving a beautiful town called Hayesfield, heading off track to a campground called Friars Flat, right next to Friars Hut. There's a beautiful running creek, plenty of green grass for your dogs to enjoy, and an abundance of wildlife. Plenty of fire pits around for a good night's fire, and there are toilets, although we will say they're not great. This is where we base ourselves to explore more of the high country. Only one hour out of Mansfield that has all the amenities like an IGA, a great pub, and a beautiful spot to stay. Proudly brought to you by iCheck TPMS. Here we go. So we've left, just left camp an hour later than what we should have. Bernie's just called his mate and told us sort of where we can go. Now there's a few places we're going to today. Bernie didn't tell me, but I can't remember. Car coming, Eric. Oh, got a car coming, right out. And um, Thanks, mate. we're um, definitely somewhere in that is Craig's hut. <laughs> but we know did, that much. Yeah, we know that much, but um, he did mention a few other other huts and stuff that we're gonna go and see. So, looking forward to today. All right, so we've been told, there's an underground tunnel somewhere. We only just come about two guys from camp and it's called Tunnel, uh, it's tunnel Creek Bend, I think it's called, um, yeah. campground. And we parked up, we're gonna go for a walk in this uh, tunnel. Let's go check it out, eh? Apparel on again for this. I thought today I was only driving. It's good, right? Look at this. Amazing. Nice. Oh, Alright, here we go. We found it. Not far from where we parked, so. That campground, you actually have to drive. About another 500 meters up the hill till you get to a hairpin. There's a little parking bay, there's a little sign. And literally just go down the stairs, turn right. And we found it here. Oh my goodness. Now apparently you can walk, but there's water in it. Righto, we gotta go in it. Yeah, we're going in it. Fresh. I got it. Oh. Are you going to report on your phone when you're in there? No, I'm just going to put a torch on, darling. Woo! Don't have the right apparel for this. Hang on. Oh, that's not good. Got my torch behind. Oh. Yes. Now, what was the go of digging this thing? Oh. What was that? Oh, hang on, I'll take my sunglasses off. Oh, hello. It's a lot better. Oh, wow. Well. I'm gonna go this. Mate, you can go all the way to the other side. Did you come down here, Bernie? You're right. Look at this. Oh, I won't be going down there. Because I think we need to See? Oh, you got the GoPro. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Quick turn the torch on. Maybe you can see, but look on the other side, there's a hole. So someone's dug all the way through. And um, it's sort of like a, all water. So we don't have the right apparel to go all the way, I don't think. And I reckon you might, oh, I'm using my phone. 
Here we go. Oh, that'd be pretty cool, though. Yeah. But yeah, don't can't be going now with bowls on, mate. Yeah, we don't really come across them very often, but there he goes in the grass. I don't know what snake that is. There he goes. Oh, there we go. Just reminds you that um, you got to be careful. A little bit of a um, hazard, road hazard. You don't know what you're going to come across. Look at that, in the middle of the road. So these are the things, these are the things you sort of come across when you take these sort of roads around the high country, what we've seen is there's a, yeah, sort of like a log, a tree. Across the road. Got that? Yes, look at that. Got through. Let's keep exploring, baby. We're super excited. We've just come down the little valley, haven't we, lad? Yes, a little bit of fun. What have we got? Oh, we got a creek. We got a creek crossing. Booyah! Very exciting. Just crossing the creek so I can get some footage from the other side. A little bit rocky, so I'm having to go slow because I don't want to fall up on my bum. You know what I'm like guys, I'm clumsy. Don't mind a bit of water, but there's some, ooh, there we go, some slippery rocks. Okay, we've been driving for a, uh, over an hour and we've up a Jameson hut. Now apparently, um, Bernie reckons that um, you can actually camp in this one. So people bring their swags and I'll take you inside. And what, what campers do here, well, well what we think um, happens is when people leave, they like tin food and stuff, they actually put inside. So. The next camper that can come if they need anything well there's a, a, a small variety of choice in here and um fireplace and i would say having the swag again would this would be an experience i reckon so guys we're inside the hut now yes um that's the doorway there's the fireplace where you can light a fire there's spades um what, like i said there's tin foil oil that someone's had to copy there's a few bits and pieces here that um, people have left behind. Like I said, it's not very, no, it's not a lot, but it could get you out of trouble. Pan, and then I'll swing around inside. This is cool. You sleep up there. Oh, Sue. Knock, knock. How good would it be to camp in here, hey? No, so I've decided. Yes. If you can build me something like this, yeah, oh. love the fireplace, a nice kitchen open plan lounge down here. So just kitchen against the wall there sort of couch, TV, put our bed up there and a nice sort of outside area with fire pit. Job done. I'll tell you what, it'd have to be a bit more insulated than this. Oh. But I think this is cool. After stretching our legs and exploring Upper Jamison Hut, we cross back through the creek, as it's the only road in, and we wind our way through the hills and along the river. We're really excited to see Bindery Falls, 
but we need to traverse the narrow track and there are a lot of fallen trees along the way. This all makes it more of an adventure and the scenery is just beautiful. We are at, what is this place? Bindari Falls. Bindari? Bindari or Bindari. Bindari or Bindari Falls. Um, tell you what, it's been a hot minute of driving. I won't lie to you, I, don't, I do miss an automatic on a day like today. Dirt road for the past, um, for the past, oh, three hours. And have a look at our canopy. So here's all dusty. Dusty, and you can see, look at the seal, how the seal's working. So, look up here, no, it's not coming in the canopy at all. Look at this, no dust whatsoever. I mean, it's not crazy dusty, but it, it's just showing you how good that seal is. How good the seal is on these canopies. So, I'm pretty impressed with that because that's sort of been our first um, sort of really long dirt road driving with this canopy, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot more of that to come this year, so we'll be able to show you that. But I am tucking into a, a wrap Sue's, Sue's pre-made for us. Lovingly prepared by Sue. Yes. Getting quite late in the day now, but let's have a look. Look at this. We're not going to warm it up. We're just going to have it straight off out the fridge. Yes. Mine is delicious. Salami, spinach, feta. I've got tundra tomatoes and cottage cheese. Check it out. But also, there's a bit of a bit of a dribble coming. You ain't helping me at all. The memories they all twist and turn. Ooh. I bang my head against the wall. Yes, somehow I just never learn. Alright, I've had a glimpse. Wow. I just said to Sue. We're very fortunate to be able to see some of the stuff we have and this is like being in El Cuestro, except it's not as dry. But I'll swing you around the GoPro, it never gives it justice. All the way. So um, we'll keep walking around. I reckon it's not far. Just around and down through there, I reckon. You are joking. Check this out. Hey? Yeah. That is incredible. Look at this. How beautiful and green it is. Look at the Absolutely. Wow. It's not really a swimming hole, is there? No. Oh, look, you actually walk in beyond the waterfall. Yeah. Okay. We were departed from the start. Nostalgia is my second nature heart. We are here. Look at that. This is insane. Turn that camera on and look at that. I will, I will. But 
we are here finally we've heard about Craig's hut and all things lined and here we are and the views from here are just spectacular up to Mount Buller. We're on the bitumen. Yeah. And um, it's planned about 16 k's from where we uh, turned off from. And it says just, you know, take proper caution because the road is really windy and um, steep as well. And especially if it's snowing or if there's fog around. So, but I'll tell you what, I'd be pretty excited to uh, come here in this when it's like proper snow at night. Like I think it'll just give it a different whole feeling. Okay, welcome to Mount Buller. We're right at the peak here. And uh, I've got to say, it's like a ghost town, which, you know, you would think it is because it's out of season. And um, I've got to say, I wasn't expecting these beautiful hotels and, and, and architecture up here. Check this out before we have a look at the views. Before we have a look at the views, let's check this out. I've got to say, what a place. Hey. Temperatures dropped up here. Yes, temperatures dropped up here. Yeah. 921 meters. Yeah. But check this out. The views. This must be some sort of snow cannon thing. This must be where you can practice. What do you think? I don't know, Lassie. Like training, you would think over here. Because look, you've got one over there and one just down the back there. And lights, so... Yeah, this is this is actually amazing. There are a few cars around. These buildings are massive. Jeez, it's huge. Like, I was expecting just a little village. The ski hire places, obviously all shut. I'll tell you what, coming up here in, like, in, in, in season, which is winter, I reckon there'd be a good vibe up here. No, no, I don't see a pub, but I'm sure there's a pub up here. Let's go check this out here. I don't know if we can't, I don't know if we can drive any further, to be honest. Look at the views. Oh, mate. Wow. This is incredible. You can see, half past six already. Wow. Where the adventure begins, eh?
guys so we're back at camp after a beautiful day all cleaned up had a bit of a clean up on the face put a new t-shirt and that on but a lot of people want to know why we do what we do and here's a perfect example so there is a you know all the campers get together sort of thing and this is cool check us out big open paddock we got sue and bob there's a field out here we've met gary's family and they're having a bit of a softball match going on. Ooh! Bob, get it! Bit of an audience. Bernie on the chair. I reckon I'm going to... Oh, you first base, Bernie. Oh, this is just magic. Check it. Look at this. In for a fantastic evening. And while that's all going on over here, I've got tea on the go. Come through this way. Bolt going on here, fire going, chopped up some wood, got a, got a camp oven on with a, a bit, something a bit different. Got, um, we didn't have um, beef so I've got chicken in a strong enough sauce with onions and red peppers and coconut, um, cream, everything cooking on the corner there and um, yeah this is magic. What a great week of travel. The softball was so much fun. Haven't played softball in about 16 years, but I tell you what, we actually did it two nights running because it was such a blast. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like and subscribe button down below to support our channel and come along with us on our 2024 journey.